16 riders in the lead with five minutes in hand over the peloton and going on to the climb from Sault for just the second time in Tour de France history. Julien Alaphilippe who attacks now. Alaphilippe on the hunt for more King of the Mountains points and upping the tempo around halfway up the climb. Only six riders were able to stay with him. Van Aert, Bernard, Ellison, Perez, Luke Durbridge and Sandro Merisa. Just before the summit, Malema managed to drag his way back into the lead group, making it eight men up at the front. There goes Julien Alaphilippe. Does he fancy some polka dots? He's going to give it a go. Alaphilippe reaches the top of the Vontu for the first time. Ten points in the pocket. Julian Bernard leads and his job is done. Huge attack now. This is Kenny Ellison, the Frenchman, as he goes clear now on the lower slopes of the Mont Ventoux. And here goes Wout Van Aert as he attacks Alaphilippe and he attacks Balka Mollema. Wout Van Aert dreaming of a stage win in the Tour de France. Ali Pogaccia, how is he feeling? His face is poker face. But the best form of defense is to go on the attack. Here goes the white jersey. Jonas Vengegaard goes on the move. What has this young Danish rider got in the legs? Carapaz and Uran don't have the response. Jonas Vengegaard has cracked Tadi Pogaccia on the climb of the Mont Ventoux. This is the crest of the Mont Ventoux for the second time. Wout van Aert goes over the top, gets himself set. The stage win is down at the bottom of the descent. Wout van Aert is going to ride in here to the race finish with an emotional moment. He turns around, he gets himself set with a 32 and a half kilometer lone breakaway. It's four wins in the tour. Wonderful Wout. Well done, Trek Segafredo. Second and third to Elison de Molema. Jonas Vengegaard is the first rider to crack the yellow jersey. And now Taddy is going to say to him, well, you tried, but I'm still going to beat you on the stage. Personally, it was 